The renminbi, abbreviated RMB, simplified Chinese, renminbi traditional Chinese, renminbi pinyin, renminbi, literally, people's currency, symbol, yuan code, CNY, is the official currency of the People's Republic of China, and one of the world's major reserve currencies. The yuan, Chinese, yuan, pinyin, yuan is the basic unit of the renminbi, but is also used to refer to the Chinese currency generally, especially in international contexts where Chinese yuan is widely used to refer to the renminbi. The distinction between renminbi and yuan is that renminbi is the name of the currency and yuan refers to its primary unit. One yuan is subdivided into ten zhao Chinese, zhao pinyin, zhao, and a zhao in turn is subdivided into ten fen Chinese, fen pinyin, fen. The renminbi is issued by the People's Bank of China, the Monetary Authority of China. The renminbi is sometimes referred to as the redback in the U.S. financial press. Until 2005, the value of the renminbi was pegged to the U.S. dollar. As China pursued its transition from central planning to a market economy and increased its participation in foreign trade, the renminbi was devalued to increase the competitiveness of Chinese industry. It has previously been claimed that the renminbi's official exchange rate was undervalued by as much as 37.5% against its purchasing power parity. However more recently, appreciation actions by the Chinese government, as well as quantitative easing measures taken by the American Federal Reserve and other major central banks, have caused the renminbi to be within as little as 8% of its equilibrium value by the second half of 2012. Since 2006, the renminbi exchange rate has been allowed to float in a narrow margin around a fixed base rate determined with reference to a basket of world currencies. The Chinese government has announced that it will gradually increase the flexibility of the exchange rate. As a result of the rapid internationalization of the renminbi, it became the world's eighth most traded currency in 2013, fifth by 2015, but eighth in 2019. On the 1st of October 2016, the RMB became the first emerging market currency to be included in the IMF's special drawing rights basket, the basket of currencies used by the IMF reserve currency. Topic. Terminology The ISO code for renminbi which may also be used for the yuan is CNY an abbreviation for Chinese yuan or also CNH when traded in offshore markets such as Hong Kong. The currency is often abbreviated RMB, or indicated by the yuan sign. The latter may be written CN to distinguish it from other currencies with the same symbol such as the Japanese yen. In Chinese texts the currency may also be indicated with the Chinese character for the yuan, yuan or yuan informally. The renminbi is legal tender in mainland China, but not in Hong Kong or Macau. However, renminbi is widely accepted in Hong Kong and Macau and are easily exchanged in the two territories, with banks in Hong Kong allowing people to maintain accounts in RMB and withdraw RMB banknotes from ATM terminals. History Topic: 19th century In 1889, the yuan was equated at par with the Mexican peso, a silver coin deriving from the Spanish dollar which circulated widely in Southeast Asia since the 17th century due to Spanish presence in the Philippines and Guam. It was subdivided into $1,000 or wen Chinese, wen pinyin, wen, 100 cents or fen Chinese, fen pinyin, fen, and ten jiao Chinese, jiao pinyin, jiao, cf, dime. It replaced copper cash and various silver ingots called sices. The sices were denominated in tile. The yuan was valued at 0.72 tile, or 7 mace and 2 cantarines. Banknotes were issued in yuan denominations from the 1890s by several local and private banks, along with the Imperial Bank of China and the Hu Pu Bank, later the Ta Ching Government Bank, established by the Imperial Government. During the imperial period, banknotes were issued in denominations of 1, 2 and 5 jiao, 1, 2, 5, 10, 50 and 100 yuan, although notes below 1 yuan were uncommon. 
The earliest issues were silver coins produced at the Guangzhou Mint, known in the West at the time as Canton, and transliterated as Kuangtung, in denominations of 5 cents, 1, 2 and 5 Zhao and 1 Yuan. Other regional mints were opened in the 1890s producing similar silver coins along with copper coins in denominations of 1, 2, 5, 10 and 20 cash. Other regional mints were opened in the 1890s. The central government began issuing its own coins in the yuan currency system in 1903. Banknotes were issued in yuan denominations from the 1890s by several local and private banks, along with banks established by the imperial government. Early 20th century The central government began issuing its own coins in the yuan currency system in 1903. These were brass 1 cash, copper 2, 5, 10 and 20 cash, and silver 1, 2 and 5 jiao and 1 yuan. After the revolution, although the designs changed, the sizes and metals used in the coinage remained mostly unchanged until the 1930s. From 1936, the central government issued nickel, later cupronickel, 5, 10 and 20 fen and 1 half yuan coins. Aluminium 1 and 5 fen pieces were issued in 1940. A variety of currencies circulated in China during the Republic of China rock era, most of which were denominated in the unit yuan Mandarin pronunciation in IPA, Ashen. Each was distinguished by a currency name, such as the fabi, legal tender, the gold yuan, and the silver yuan. The renminbi was introduced by the People's Bank of China in December 1948, about a year before the establishment of the People's Republic of China. It was issued only in paper money form at first, and replaced the various currencies circulating in the areas controlled by the communists. One of the first tasks of the new government was to end the hyperinflation that had plagued China in the final years of the Kuomintang KMT era. That achieved, a revaluation occurred in 1955 at the rate of 1 new yuan equals 10,000 old yuan. As the Communist Party of China took control of ever larger territories in the latter part of the Chinese Civil War, its People's Bank of China began in 1948 to issue a unified currency for use in communist-controlled territories. Also denominated in yuan, this currency was identified by different names, including People's Bank of China banknotes. Simplified Chinese, Zhongguo Ren Min Yin Xing Chao Piao Traditional Chinese, Zhongguo Ren Min Yin Xing Chao Piao from November 1948, New Currency. Simplified Chinese, Xinbai Traditional Chinese, Xinbai from December 1948, People's Bank of China Notes. Simplified Chinese, Zhongguo Ren Min Yin Xing Quan Traditional Chinese, Zhongguo Ren Min Yin Xing Quan from January 1949, People's Notes. Ren Min Quan is an abbreviation of the last name, and finally, People's Currency, or Ren Min B, from June 1949. <laughs> <laughs> Era of the planned economy From 1949 until the late 1970s, the state fixed China's exchange rate at a highly overvalued level as part of the country's import substitution strategy. During this time frame, the focus of the state's central planning was to accelerate industrial development and reduce China's dependence on imported manufactured goods. The overvaluation allowed the government to provide imported machinery and equipment to priority industries at a relatively lower domestic currency cost than otherwise would have been possible. Topic. Transition to an equilibrium exchange rate China's transition by the mid-1990s to a system in which the value of its currency was determined by supply and demand in a foreign exchange market was a gradual process spanning 15 years that involved changes in the official exchange rate, the use of a dual exchange rate system, and the introduction and gradual expansion of markets for foreign exchange. The most important move to a market-oriented exchange rate was an easing of controls on trade and other current account transactions, as occurred in several very early steps. In 1979 the State Council approved a system allowing exporters and their provincial and local government owners to retain a share of their foreign exchange earnings, referred to as foreign exchange quotas. 
At the same time, the government introduced measures to allow retention of part of the foreign exchange earnings from non-trade sources, such as overseas remittances, port fees paid by foreign vessels, and tourism. As early as October 1980, exporting firms that retained foreign exchange above their own import needs were allowed to sell the excess through the state agency responsible for the management of China's exchange controls and its foreign exchange reserves, the State Administration of Exchange Control. Beginning in the mid 1980s, the government sanctioned foreign exchange markets, known as swap centers, eventually in most large cities. The government also gradually allowed market force to take the dominant role by introducing an internal settlement rate of RMB 2.8 to 1 US dollar which was a devaluation of almost 100%. <laughs> == Evolution of exchange policy since 1994 In November 1993 the third plenum of the 14th CPC Central Committee approved a comprehensive reform strategy in which foreign exchange management reforms were highlighted as a key element for a market-oriented economy. A floating exchange rate regime and convertibility for RMB were seen as the ultimate goal of the reform. Conditional convertibility under current account was achieved by allowing firms to surrender their foreign exchange earning from current account transactions and purchase foreign exchange as needed. Restrictions on foreign direct investment FDI was also loosened and capital inflows to China surged. Topic: <laughs> Convertibility During the era of the command economy, the value of the renminbi was set to unrealistic values in exchange with Western currency and severe currency exchange rules were put in place. With the opening of the Chinese economy in 1978, a dual-track currency system was instituted, with renminbi usable only domestically, and with foreign visitors to China forced to use foreign exchange certificates. The unrealistic levels at which exchange rates were pegged led to a strong black market in currency transactions. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, China worked to make the RMB more convertible. Through the use of swap centers, the exchange rate was brought to realistic levels and the dual-track currency system was abolished. As of 2013, the renminbi is convertible on current accounts but not capital accounts. The ultimate goal has been to make the RMB fully convertible. However, partly in response to the Asian financial crisis in 1998, China has been concerned that the Chinese financial system would not be able to handle the potential rapid cross-border movements of hot money, and as a result, as of 2012, the currency trades within a narrow band specified by the Chinese central government. Following the internationalization of the renminbi, on 30 November 2015, the IMF voted to designate the renminbi as one of several main world currencies, thus including it in the basket of special drawing rights. The RMB became the first emerging market currency to be included in the IMF's SDR basket on 1 October 2016. The other main world currencies are the United States dollar, euro, British pound, and Japanese yen. Topic. Issuance As of 2019, renminbi banknotes are available in denominations from 10 sen, 50 sen, 1 and 5 jiao, 1 yen, 5 yen, 10 yen, 20 yen, 50 yen and 100 yen yuan. These denominations have been available since 1955, except for the 20, 50 and 100 yuan notes added in 1999. Coins are available in denominations from 1 fen to 1 yuan 1 sen minus 1. Thus some denominations exist in both coins and banknotes. On rare occasions larger yuan coin denominations such as 5 yen have been issued to commemorate events but use of these outside of collecting has never been widespread. The denomination of each banknote is printed in Chinese language. The numbers themselves are printed in financial Chinese numeral characters, as well as Arabic numerals. The denomination and the words, ''People's Bank of China'' are also printed in Mongolian, Tibetan, Uyghur and Zhuang on the back of each banknote, in addition to the boldface Hanyu Pinyin, ''Zhongguo Renmin Yinhang'' without tones. The right front of the note has a tactile representation of the denomination in Chinese Braille starting from the fourth series. 
See corresponding section for detailed information. The Fen and Zhao denominations have become increasingly unnecessary as prices have increased. Coins under 10 sen are used infrequently. Chinese retailers tend to avoid decimal values such as 9 yen and 99 sen, opting instead for integer values of yuan such as 9 yen or 10 yen. Topic: <coughs> Coins. <coughs> 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 In 1953, aluminium 1, 2, and 5 fen coins began being struck for circulation, and were first introduced in 1955. These depict the national emblem on the obverse front and the name and denomination framed by wheat stocks on the reverse back. In 1980, brass 1, 2, and 5 jiao and cupro nickel 1 yuan coins were added, although the 1 and 2 jiao were only produced until 1981, with the last 5 jiao and 1 yuan issued in 1985. All jiao coins depicted similar designs to the fen coins while the yuan depicted the Great Wall of China. In 1991, a new coinage was introduced, consisting of an aluminium 1 jiao, brass 5 jiao and nickel clad steel 1 yuan. These were smaller than the previous Zhao and Yuan coins and depicted flowers on the obverse and the national emblem on the reverse. Issuance of the aluminum 1 and 2 Fen coins ceased in 1991, with that of the 5 Fen halting in 1994. The small coins were still made for annual uncirculated mint sets in limited quantities, and from the beginning of 2005 the 1 Fen coin got a new lease on life by being issued again every year since then up to present. New designs of the 1 and 5 Zhao and 1 Yuan were again introduced in between 1999 and 2002, with the 1 Zhao being significantly reduced in size. In 2005, the metallic composition of the 1 Zhao was changed from aluminum to more durable nickel-plated steel. The frequency of usage of coins varies between different parts of China, with coins typically being more popular in urban areas, and small notes being more popular in rural areas. Older Fen and large Zhao coins are uncommonly still seen in circulation but are still valid in exchange. <inaudible> <inaudible> Banknotes As of 2019, there have been five series of renminbi banknotes issued by the People's Republic of China. The first series of renminbi banknotes was issued on 1 December 1948, by the newly founded People's Bank of China. It introduced notes in denominations of 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 and 1,000 yuan. Notes for 200, 500, 5,000 and 10,000 yuan followed in 1949, with 50,000 yuan notes added in 1950. A total of 62 different designs were issued. The notes were officially withdrawn on various dates between 1 April and 10 May 1955. The name, First Series, was given retroactively in 1950. After work began to design a new series, these first renminbi notes were printed with the words, People's Bank of China, Republic of China, and the denomination, written in Chinese characters by Dong Biwu. The second series of renminbi banknotes was introduced on 1 March 1955, but dated 1953. Each note has the words, People's Bank of China, as well as the denomination in the Uyghur, Tibetan, Mongolian, and Zhuang languages on the back, which has since appeared in each series of renminbi notes. The denominations available in banknotes were 1 sen, 2 sen, 5 sen, 10 sen, 20 sen, 50 sen, 1 yen, 2 yen, 3 yen, 5 yen and 10 yen. Except for the three fen denominations and the three yuan which were withdrawn, notes in these denominations continued to circulate. Good examples of this series have gained high status with banknote collectors. The third series of renminbi banknotes was introduced on 15 April 1962, though many denominations were dated 1960. New dates would be issued as stocks of older dates were gradually depleted. The sizes and design layout of the notes had changed but not the order of colors for each denomination. For the next two decades, the second and third series banknotes were used concurrently. The denominations were of 10 sen, 20 sen, 50 sen, 1 yen, 2 yen, 5 yen and 10 yen. The third series was phased out during the 1990s and then was recalled completely on 1 July 2000. 
The fourth series of renminbi banknotes was introduced between 1987 and 1997, although the banknotes were dated 1980, 1990, or 1996. They are still legal tender. Banknotes are available in denominations of 10 sen, 20 sen, 50 sen, 1 yen, 2 yen, 5 yen, 10 yen, 50 yen and 100 yen. Like previous issues, the color designation for already existing denominations remained in effect. The fifth series of renminbi banknotes and coins was progressively introduced from its introduction in 1999. This series also bears the issue years 2005 all except 1 yen, 2015 100 yen only and 2019 1 yen, 10 yen, 20 yen and 50 yen. As of 2019, it includes banknotes for 1 yen, 5 yen, 10 yen, 20 yen, 50 yen and 100 yen. Significantly, the fifth series uses the portrait of Mao Zedong on all banknotes, in place of the various leaders, workers and representations of China's ethnic groups which had been featured previously. During this series new security features were added, the 2 yen denomination was discontinued, the color pattern for each note was changed and a new denomination of 20 yen was introduced for this series. A revised series of coins of 10 sen, 50 sen and 1 yen and banknotes of 1 yen, 10 yen, 20 yen and 50 yen were issued for general circulation on August 30, 2019. The 5 yen banknote of the fifth series will be issued with new printing technology in a bid to reduce counterfeiting of Chinese currency, and will be issued for circulation sometime in the future. Commemorative issues of the renminbi In 1999, a commemorative red 50 yen note was issued in honor of the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the People's Republic of China. This note features Mao Zedong on the front and various animals on the back. An orange polymer note, and so far, China's only polymer note, commemorating the new millennium was issued in 2000 with a face value of 100 yen. This features a dragon on the obverse and the reverse features the China Millennium Monument at the Center for Cultural and Scientific Fairs. For the 2008 Beijing Olympics, a green 10 yen note was issued featuring the Bird's Nest Stadium on the front with the back showing a classical Olympic discus thrower and various other athletes. On 26 November 2015, the People's Bank of China issued a blue 100 yen commemorative note to commemorate aerospace science and technology, in commemoration of the 70th anniversary of the issuance of the renminbi, the People's Bank of China issued 120 million 50 yen banknotes on December 28, 2018. Topic. Use in minority regions The renminbi yuan has different names when used in minority regions. When used in Inner Mongolia and other Mongol autonomies, a yuan is called a tugreg Mongolian, tinyag However, when used in the Republic of Mongolia, it is still named yuani Mongolian, yuan to differentiate it from Mongolian togrog Mongolian, one Chinese tufurig tugreg is divided into 100 mongu Mongolian, meng one Chinese jiao is labeled. 10 Mongu. In Mongolian, renminbi is called Aradan Jogos or Arad Un Jogos Mongolian, Arden Zuz Arad Un O Gamma O S. When used in Tibet and other Tibetan autonomies, a yuan is called a gore Tibetan, skur zypy, gore. One gore is divided into 10 gorsur Tibetan, skur zur zypy, gorsur or 100 gar Tibetan, skar zypy, gar. In Tibetan, renminbi is called mimungsongu Tibetan, mimungs shogdengul zypy, mimungsongu or mimungs shog ngul. When used in the Uyghur Autonomy Region of Xinjiang, the renminbi is called xelq puli Uyghur. Topic: <laughs> Production and minting. Renminbi currency production is carried out by a state-owned corporation, China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation (CBPMC), Zhongguo Yin Chao Zhao by Zonggong C headquartered in Beijing. CBPMC uses several printing, engraving and minting facilities around the country to produce banknotes and coins for subsequent distribution. Banknote printing facilities are based in Beijing, Shanghai, Chengdu, Xi'an, Shijiazhuang, and Nanchang. 
Mints are located in Nanjing, Shanghai, and Shenyang. Also, high-grade paper for the banknotes is produced at two facilities in Baoding and Kunshan. The Baoding facility is the largest facility in the world dedicated to developing banknote material according to its website. In addition, the People's Bank of China has its own printing technology research division that researches new techniques for creating banknotes and making counterfeiting more difficult. Topic: <laughs> Suggested future design. On the 13th of March 2006, some delegates to an advisory body at the National People's Congress proposed to include Sun Yat-sen and Deng Xiaoping on the renminbi banknotes. However, the proposal was not adopted. Topic: <laughs> Economics. Topic: Value. For most of its early history, the RMB was pegged to the US dollar at 2 yen and 46 sen per USD. During the 1970s, it was revalued until it reached 1 yen and 50 sen per USD in 1980. When China's economy gradually opened in the 1980s, the RMB was devalued in order to improve the competitiveness of Chinese exports. Thus, the official exchange rate increased from 1 yen and 50 sen in 1980 to 8 yen and 62 sen by 1994, the lowest rate on record. Improving current account balance during the latter half of the 1990s enabled the Chinese government to maintain a peg of 8 yen and 27 sen per USD from 1997 to 2005. The RMB reached a record high exchange value of 6.0395 yen to the US dollar on 14 January 2014. Chinese leadership have been raising the yuan to tame inflation, a step US officials have pushed for years to lower the massive trade deficit with China. Strengthening the value of the RMB also fits with the Chinese transition to a more consumer led economic growth model. In 2015, the People's Bank of China again devalued their country's currency. As of the 1st of September 2015, the exchange rate for one United States dollar is 6 yen and 38 sen. Topic: Depegged from the US dollar. On the 21st of July 2005, the peg was finally lifted, which saw an immediate one-time RMB revaluation to 8 yen and 11 sen per USD. The exchange rate against the euro stood at 10.07060 yen per euro. However the peg was reinstituted unofficially when the financial crisis hit. Under intense pressure from Washington, China took small steps to allow its currency to strengthen for three years starting in July 2005. But China repegged its currency to the dollar as the financial crisis intensified in July 2008. On 19 June 2010, the People's Bank of China released a statement simultaneously in Chinese and English claiming that they would "...proceed further with reform of the RMB exchange rate regime and increase the RMB exchange rate flexibility." The news was greeted with praise by world leaders including Barack Obama, Nicolas Sarkozy and Stephen Harper. The PBOC maintained there would be no "...large swings," in the currency. The RMB rose to its highest level in five years and markets worldwide surged on Monday, 21 June following China's announcement. In August 2015, Joseph Adinol Fee, a reporter for MarketWatch, reported that China had repegged the RMB. In his article, he narrated that weak trade data out of China, released over the weekend, weighed on the currencies of Australia and New Zealand on Monday. But the yuan didn't budge. Indeed, the Chinese currency, also known as the renminbi, has been remarkably steady over the past month despite the huge sell-off in China's stock market and a spate of disappointing economic data. Market strategists, including Simon Derrick, chief currency strategist at BNY Mellon, and Mark Chandler, head currency strategist at Brown Brothers Harriman, said that is because China's policy makers have effectively repegged the yuan. When I look at the dollar renminbi right now, that looks like a fixed exchange rate again. They've repegged it, Chandler said. <laughs> <laughs> Managed float 
The RMB has now moved to a managed floating exchange rate based on market supply and demand with reference to a basket of foreign currencies. In July 2005, the daily trading price of the US dollar against the RMB in the interbank foreign exchange market was allowed to float within a narrow band of 0.3% around the central parity published by the People's Bank of China. In a later announcement published on the 18th of May 2007, the band was extended to 0.5%. On 14 April 2012, the band was extended to 1.0%. On 17 March 2014, the band was extended to 2%. China has stated that the basket is dominated by the United States dollar, euro, Japanese yen and South Korean won, with a smaller proportion made up of the British pound, Thai baht, Russian ruble, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar and Singapore dollar. On the 10th of April 2008, it traded at 6.9920 yen per US dollar, which was the first time in more than a decade that a dollar had bought less than 7 yuan and at 11.03630 yuan per euro. Beginning in January 2010, Chinese and non-Chinese citizens have an annual exchange limit of a maximum of US$50,000. Currency exchange will only proceed if the applicant appears in person at the relevant bank and presents their passport or Chinese ID. Currency exchange transactions are centrally registered. The maximum dollar withdrawal is $10,000 per day, the maximum purchase limit of USD is $500 per day. This stringent management of the currency leads to a bottled-up demand for exchange in both directions. It is viewed as a major tool to keep the currency peg, preventing inflows of hot money. A shift of Chinese reserves into the currencies of their other trading partners has caused these nations to shift more of their reserves into dollars, leading to no great change in the value of the renminbi against the dollar. Futures market Renminbi futures are traded at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The futures are cash settled at the exchange rate published by the People's Bank of China. <laughs> Purchasing power parity Scholarly studies suggest that the yuan is undervalued on the basis of purchasing power parity analysis. One 2011 study suggests a 37.5% undervaluation. The World Bank estimated that, by purchasing power parity, one international dollar was equivalent to approximately 1 yen and 90 sen in 2004. The International Monetary Fund estimated that, by purchasing power parity, one international dollar was equivalent to approximately 3.462 yen in 2006, 3.621 yen in 2007, 3.798 yen in 2008, 3.872 yen in 2009, 3.922 yen in 2010, 3.946 yen in 2011, 3.952 yen in 2012, 3.944 yen in 2013 and 3.9 yen in 2014, the People's Bank of China lowered the renminbi's daily fix to the US dollar by 1.9% to 6.2298 yen on of August 2015. The People's Bank of China again lowered the renminbi's daily fix to the US dollar from 6.620 yen to 6.6375 yen after the Brexit on 27 June 2016. It had not been this low since December 2010. Topic: Internationalization. Before 2009, the Chinese renminbi had little to no exposure in the international markets because of strict government controls by the central Chinese government that prohibited almost all export of the currency or use of it in international transactions. Transactions between Chinese companies and a foreign entity were generally denominated in U.S. dollars. With Chinese companies unable to hold US dollars and foreign companies unable to hold Chinese yuan, all transactions would go through the People's Bank of China. Once the sum was paid by the foreign party in dollars, the central bank would pass the settlement in renminbi to the Chinese company at the state-controlled exchange rate. In June 2009 the Chinese officials announced a pilot scheme where business and trade transactions were allowed between limited businesses in Guangzhou Province and Shanghai, and only counterparties in Hong Kong, Macau, and select ASEAN nations. 
Proving a success, the program was further extended to 20 Chinese provinces and counterparties internationally in July 2010, and in September 2011 it was announced that the remaining 11 Chinese provinces would be included. In steps intended to establish the renminbi as an international reserve currency, China has agreements with Russia, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Japan, allowing trade with those countries to be settled directly in renminbi instead of requiring conversion to US dollars, with Australia and South Africa to follow soon. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International Reserve Currency. Currency restrictions regarding renminbi-denominated bank deposits and financial products were greatly liberalized in July 2010. In 2010 renminbi-denominated bonds were reported to have been purchased by Malaysia's central bank and that McDonald's had issued renminbi-denominated corporate bonds through Standard Chartered Bank of Hong Kong. Such liberalization allows the yuan to look more attractive as it can be held with higher return on investment yields, whereas previously that yield was virtually none. Nevertheless, some national banks such as Bank of Thailand BOT have expressed a serious concern about RMB since BOT cannot substitute the deprecated US dollars in its US$200 billion United States dollars foreign exchange reserves for renminbi as much as it wishes because the Chinese government has not taken full responsibilities and commitments on economic affairs at global levels. Renminbi still has not become well liquidated fully convertible yet. The Chinese government still lacks deep and wide vision about how to perform fundraising to handle international loans at global levels. To meet IMF requirements, China gave up some of its tight control over the currency. Countries that are left leaning in the political spectrum had already begun to use the renminbi as an alternative reserve currency to the United States dollar. The Central Bank of Chile reported in 2011 to have 91 million United States dollars worth of renminbi in reserves, and the president of the Central Bank of Venezuela, Nelson Merentz, made statements in favor of the renminbi following the announcement of reserve withdrawals from Europe and the United States. In Africa, the central banks of Ghana, Nigeria, and South Africa either hold RMB as a reserve currency or have taken steps to purchase bonds denominated in RMB. <laughs> Use as a currency outside mainland China The two special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau, have their own respective currencies, according to the one country, two systems principle and the basic laws of the two territories. Therefore, the Hong Kong dollar and the Macanese pataka remain the legal tenders in the two territories, and renminbi, although sometimes accepted, is not legal tender. Banks in Hong Kong allow people to maintain accounts in RMB. Because of changes in legislation in July 2010, many banks around the world are now slowly offering individuals the chance to hold deposits in Chinese renminbi. The RMB had a presence in Macau even before the 1999 return to the People's Republic of China from Portugal. Banks in Macau can issue credit cards based on the renminbi, but not loans. Renminbi based credit cards cannot be used in Macau's casinos. The Republic of China, which governs Taiwan, believes wide usage of the renminbi would create an underground economy and undermine its sovereignty. Tourists are allowed to bring in up to 20,000 yen when visiting Taiwan. These renminbi must be converted to the new Taiwan dollar at trial exchange sites in Matsu and Kinmen. The Chen Shui bian administration insisted that it would not allow full convertibility until the mainland signs a bilateral foreign exchange settlement agreement, though President Ma Ying Jeou has pledged to allow full convertibility as soon as possible. The renminbi circulates in some of China's neighbors, such as Pakistan, Mongolia and northern Thailand. Cambodia welcomes the renminbi as an official currency and Laos and Myanmar allow it in border provinces such as Wa and Koh Kang and economic zones like Mandalay. Though unofficial, Vietnam recognizes the exchange of the renminbi to the dong. Since 2007, RMB nominated bonds are issued outside mainland China, these are colloquially called dim sum bonds. In April 2011, the first initial public offering denominated in renminbi occurred in Hong Kong, when the Chinese property investment trust Hui Xian REIT raised 10.48 billion yen $1 billion in its IPO. Beijing has allowed renminbi-denominated financial markets to develop in Hong Kong as part of the effort to internationalize the renminbi. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Other markets. Since currency flows in and out of mainland China are still restricted, RMB traded in offshore markets, such as the Hong Kong market, can have a different value to RMB traded on the mainland. The offshore RMB market is usually denoted as CNH, but there is another RMB interbank and spot market in Taiwan for domestic trading known as CNT. Other RMB markets include the dollar settled non-deliverable forward NDF and the trade settlement exchange rate CNT. Note that the two CNTs mentioned above are different from each other. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current exchange rates. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> See also China Banknote Printing and Minting Corporation CBPMC Chinese Lunar Coins Economy of China List of renminbi exchange rates Tibetan coins and currency